In this video, we will install MongoDB on a Debian VPS server, then we will test the installation, and at the end, we will uninstall MongoDB and all the configurations and files associated with it. The first step is adding the public key and then adding the repository to the sources list, then we can pull it from repository and install it on our server. So let's see how we can do it. Now I'm connected to my server via SSH and first of all let's do an update by sudo apt update and after update we need to make sure two packages are installed by sudo apt install one of them is gnupg2 and the other one is curl press enter to install these two now it's time to add the gpg keys you can import the key with this command press enter yes enter and now let's add the repository to the sources list and you can do it by this command if you're using debian 11 bullseye but if your server is bookworm debian 12 you can use this command to add the repository then press enter now that we have updated the sources list, we need to do another update by sudo apt update again. And now we can install MongoDB by doing sudo apt install dash y mongodb dash org. Now the MongoDB is installed and we can start using it. Before going ahead and testing the server, have in mind that MongoDB updates with each system update. So if you're using MongoDB in a project that the version is important and you don't want it to be changed by itself, you have these options to hold the version to the currently working version so the next system updates won't change the MongoDB version and won't interrupt your application. Okay, now that we have MongoDB installed on our server, it's time to test it. First of all, let's check the status by sudo system cdl status mongod. And as you see, the server is disabled, but it doesn't matter. We can enable it by just system cdl enable mongod and then start the server by system cdl start mongod and now if we check the status again we can see the server active and running also we can connect to mongodb using mongo shell by mongo sh for mongo shell and press enter and test the version by db.version also we can create a database and a collection to make sure everything's working properly so type use test db press enter then type db.test collection dot insert one must be insert and inside the parenthesis give it a JSON object for example name is test and type is example And as you see, it returns acknowledged true. And we can also type db test collection dot find. And it's returning our information correctly. So far, we have installed and tested MongoDB on our Debian server. Now let's see how we can uninstall and purge all data associated with it from our server. 
First, let's log out by typing exit. And now, stop the server by sudo systemctl stop mongod. And now we type sudo apt purge y mongodb org and put a star to remove everything. Now let's remove the mongodb directories by sudo rmrf and lar lib mongodb and the other one will be in the log directory also we can remove the configuration file by sudo rm dash f etc mongod.conf now it's safe to remove the sources list and also the gpg key so do sudo rm dash f that is in etc apt sources list dot d mongodb press enter the key is stored in sudo rmf and it's an etc apt keyrings mongodb and the other one is user directory usr share keyrings mongodb and now that we have changed the sources list again we can do sudo apt update And to make sure that everything's removed, we can type which mongod and we get nothing. It means mongodb is completely uninstalled from the server. Well, that was the whole process of installing, testing and uninstalling mongodb on a Debian Linux server. We have also released a MySQL full course that you may be interested in. Otherwise, stay tuned for more database and Linux tutorials, and until the next one, I bid you farewell.